Hello dear students, good morning and welcome once again to this online lecture. Well, in my previous lecture, I told you something about the principles of effective writing. I told you how to write down an effective piece of writing. Well, in today's lecture, I will be talking about steps of writing. Okay? And as usual, I will try to go very slowly so that you may understand me because this is an online class, not face to face. So, my speed will be slower than usual. So, let us discuss steps of writing. Now, if we look at the writing skills, then there are five different steps of writing. And you must keep one very important thing about writing in your mind, that writing is a process. Every writer follows his or her own writing process. Often, the process is a routine that comes naturally and is not a step-by-step -step guide to which writers refer. But being conscious of your own writing process is essentially helpful when you find yourself struggling with a particularly tricky piece. And here are five steps towards creating or identifying your personal writing process. You know, my years of experience as a teacher has told me that all writers have their own writing processes, but they are not conscious of their writing process because they have become so used and habitual to writing down things that these steps come to them very naturally and unconsciously. So in the following slides, I will be discussing the five steps of writing which most of the writers good writers follow. Why not all writers follow these steps? Maybe because some of them are born writers or some of them are so experienced that they skip certain steps. But as a beginner, you must try to, you know, understand all these steps and try to follow these steps if you want to be a good writer. So here are the five steps of writing process. So the first process, writing process is pre-writing. The second one is drafting. The third one, revising. The fourth one, editing. The fifth one is publishing. So these are different steps which every good writer should follow. Or at least every beginner writer should follow. Okay. For example, if some writer is an experienced writer, he may skip pre-writing or he may skip revising because he is already so experienced that whatever he or she has written is perfect that it does not need a revision. But this is something very unusual especially for a beginner. Now let us discuss these 
steps one by one. Now the first step of writing is pre-writing process. So what is pre? Pre means before. So pre-writing process actually is the process before writing. Before you actually start writing any essay, letter, story, memo or anything whatever you do before actually writing down will fall under the category of pre-writing. Now what is involved in pre-writing and what is the benefit? Let us discuss these. So the first thing pre-writing involves brainstorming. I will be discussing brainstorming in the next slide. Outlining, thinking, gathering information, talking to others, taking notes. All these are the strategies which we use at the pre-writing stage. And I will be briefly explaining these strategies. Now what is the reason for these strategies you can use any of these strategy or some of these strategies to you know gather material or generate ideas about the topic for example your teacher has given you an assignment on Hamlet's madness or on for example my favorite holiday. Now there may be two approaches to that. One is you start directly writing on the topic my favorite holiday. The other approach is that before you start writing about my favorite holiday you gather information you think about it for example your favorite holiday is Eid holiday okay first you think that which holiday is your favorite one whether it is uh, summer big break or it is uh, uh, Eid holiday or Bakar Eid holiday or Christmas holiday so you think about it. First, then you have thought about it. Then you gather information about it. You not only talk to others, but you talk to yourself. You think that why I prefer Eid holidays, for example, to other holidays. What is special about those holidays? What are the things which I do in these particular holidays which I do not do in other holidays. So you think about it, you also gather certain information about the background of the, you know, Eid al-Fitr, uh, uh, that why do we celebrate Eid al-Fitr and when was it celebrated for the first time. And you may, if you intend to write down a longer piece of writing, then you may talk to others to get to know how other people celebrate their favorite holidays and is there anyone whose favorite holiday is the same as yours and how do they celebrate theirs and what ways their holidays are different from yours and similar to yours. Okay, you think about it, you talk to others, you gather information and you take notes and then you may outline, you may make an outline. Okay, you may also brainstorm about it. So let us talk about brainstorming. Brainstorming, pre-writing is usually brainstorming of ideas and organizing of a topic. Now, what is brainstorming? Brainstorming is a method for generating ideas 
to solve a problem or to write on a topic. Brainstorming is like free writing in that we write down whatever comes to mind without stopping. But it is different because it looks more like a list of words and phrases than a string of sentences. So brainstorming is a process to generate ideas and that is part of the pre-writing process. You start writing down ideas as they come to you and you write them down in a note form. You do not write down complete sentences. You just write down words or phrases, key words or phrases so as you remember them later on. It usually involves a group under the direction of a facilitator, but you can yourself do brainstorming as an individual. The strength of brainstorming is the potential participants have in drawing association between their ideas in a free thinking environment, thereby broadening the solution space. For example, you can do brainstorming about the topic with your friend or with your family member. So what you do in brainstorming is you start thinking of, you start thinking about the topic and if you are doing it alone, then you alone start writing down keywords or phrases and you keep on doing it unless ideas keep on appearing. When the ideas stop, you also stop doing it. The process for group brainstorming is the same. At the brainstorming stage, you do not evaluate the ideas. Whatever comes to your mind, you write it down. Whether this is important, most important or not important at all. Even the irrelevant ideas, you note it down. So at the brainstorming stage, that is at the pre-writing, that is a technique which we use at pre-writing stage, means before writing stage, we do not evaluate ideas and the quantity of ideas matter. The quality of ideas do not matter at pre-writing stage. At brainstorming stage, the quantity of ideas matter. The more the better. And after we have done brainstorming, and brainstorming usually, you know, continues for 10 to 15 minutes maximum. So after you have done brainstorming, you may, you know, organize your ideas. You may give it in the shape of an outline also. You may write them down in the form of an outline and then you may delete the irrelevant or unimportant ideas. Okay? So you understand? So at the pre-writing stage, you can uh, you can use any of these techniques or you can use some of these techniques which I have mentioned. That is brainstorming, taking notes, outlining, thinking, gathering information and talking to others. Now what is the advantage of you know doing these things the advantage of doing this thing is that when you actually start writing down on the topic you have plenty of ideas and you are organized and then you can also write down in a most effective manner that is you have got a sketch in your mind and what you are you will do in the next stages you will be you know putting that sketch into the form of words for example you have already brainstormed about your favorite holiday you have also talked to other and you have taken notes you have made an outline and then you know that what you will put in the beginning, what you will put in the middle 
and what you will put in the end. Now you are ready to go on to the next stage. Some of the people, you know, they are very sharp and they, they need very little time at this step. But if you are a beginner, my suggestion is spend some time on this. Spend some time doing pre-writing and this will save your time at the later stage. Okay. So I have already. So how to do brainstorming? You get out a blank piece of paper. Write your paper topic in the middle and draw and over around it, draw lines out from the center and fill in new ovals with the subtopics. You should also write questions. Keep brainstorming of these ovals as new ideas come to you. Again, try not to hold back. Just let your ideas flow onto the page. Brainstorming is a pre-writing step. It is a good way to come up with the possible ideas that we produce in our paper or writing. Okay. Now, this is the sketch of brainstorming. Why I am, you know, putting a lot of emphasis on brainstorming? Because this is one of the most useful techniques at the that is, you know, people use at the pre-writing stage. So it's a technique to generate ideas. And remember, it is done before writing, not after writing. And as I said earlier, quantity matters over quality. You need to generate as many ideas as possible. No evaluation of ideas. At the brainstorming stage, you do not evaluate your ideas. And brainstorming continues until ideas keep on coming. So maybe 5 minutes, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. But so long as new ideas keep on coming, continue with brainstorming. And ideas are noted as they occur. Whether they are important, or not important, whether they are relevant or not relevant. If you think at that moment the idea come to you, just note it down. Now another technique which I would like to discuss and which I have not mentioned earlier on is clustering. That is another important useful pre-writing technique. Now, how can you do clustering? Who place your general subject in a circle in the middle of a blank sheet of paper and begin to draw other lines or circles that shoot out from the original topic and cluster the ideas that seem to go together. So this technique is very useful that you are brainstorming and then you are doing clustering. That is, you are putting your ideas, relevant ideas, in the form of a cluster. That is, the relevant ideas go together. Okay. So now there are certain steps in pre-writing. You, first of all, need to understand the assignment, question, and instruct, instructor's expectations. Write down what you already know about the topic. Gather further information from several different sources. That is newspaper, books, journals, articles. And then narrowing down the topic and compose a thesis statement. And fifth one is make a plan or outline. Now, number one point is very important. Understand the assignment that what you actually need to write down. Do you need to write down a one paragraph summary or do you need to produce a five page 
long argument. And then, you remember, in my last lecture, I told you, you must also ask yourself at the pre-writing stage, why am I writing this? And for whom I am writing this? Will my supervisor be reading it? Will my boss or big boss be reading it? Will my teacher be reading it? Okay. Or will my instructor be reading it? And what does he expect from me? Does he want me to compile the already available information? Does he want my personal reaction to it? My, my opinion, personal opinion on it? What does the instructor want? What do I want to do with this assignment? So the first thing, the first steps in the pre-writing stage is you need to understand your assignment. And understanding the assignment means that what do I want to do with it? Who will be reading it? I mean, who is the audience of this? How long will it be? And what genre of writing will it be? Will it be a letter? Will it be a formal letter? Informal letter? Will it be a business letter? Will it be a CV or resume? Will it be a short report or a research report? Will it be a long report? To understand? So you need to understand the assignment. Before you actually jump to writing, you need to understand what you are going to do. If you straight away jump to writing, the danger is that the write-up which you produce may not, you know, meet the instructor or the people, the person who has commanded you to write down his or her expectation. Now the second step is drafting and this is actually writing. The second process step of writing process involves drafting. During drafting, the writer puts his ideas into a complete thought such as sentences and paragraphs. The writer organizes his ideas in such a way that allows the reader to understand his message. He does this by focusing on which ideas or topics to include in the piece of writing. During drafting, the writer will compose an introduction of the piece and develop a conclusion for the material. At the end of this step of the writing process, the author will have completed a rough draft. Remember, every good writer produces many rough drafts before the final draft, especially if you are doing a write-up for a newspaper or for a research purpose or you are preparing a longer report you will be preparing several rough drafts before producing a final draft. Okay, so I think this is enough for today. I will be talking about the rest of the things in my next lecture. Thank you very much. Let me see you in the next lecture.